Hello, I'm Al Holtham, back in the workshop to show you some really neat upgrades for your Tormek grinder. First is the MSK 250 stainless steel main shaft with the easy lock nut. And then the AWT 250 advanced water trough. There's also a couple of new stones available, so we'll take a look at those as well. So, let's start with the MSK 250. The kit consists of a new spindle, now in stainless steel, so it's not going to rust or corrode. There are a couple of replacement nylon bearings in case the originals are worn. And then the easy lock nut itself. The real advantage of this nut is that you can then remove and replace the stone in seconds without the use of any tools. Now I know you're probably wondering why all this is necessary and even why you need to remove the stone at all. Well, as I mentioned earlier, there are now a couple of new stones, each with very different applications. So you may need to swap them back in two on the machine. The easy lock nut makes this very quick and very easy, as you'll see in a minute. Unfortunately, you can't fit the easy lock nut on the existing spindle you need the special left hand thread. So you do have to fit the new stainless steel spindle. But it's not difficult. I'll show you how. Firstly, remove the universal support and then the water trough. You'll need a three quarter inch spanner or wrench. Use this to release the nut holding the stone. If the stone's been fitted for some time, it may require just a sharp tap with a hammer to release the nut. This washer comes off, you won't need it again. Slide off the stone and then release the leather profile wheels and then the honing wheel. Use the spanner again to unlock the drive wheel. And now you can pull the shaft right out. Notice the drive pin fitting through a hole in the shaft. Take this out carefully and remove the washer, which then fits back on the new shaft. But you can see there are two holes for the drive pin on this one. And which one you use depends on the age of the drive wheel. I need to use the end one. Feed the spindle back in, making sure it seats properly in the bearing and then refit the drive wheel and lock it with the nut. You'll need to lift the motor to rest the drive shaft onto the outside of the wheel. Refit the honing wheel in place, making sure the three locating lugs are properly engaged. and secure it with the profile wheels. Finally, put the supporting back washer on and then refit the wheel and secure it with the easy lock nut. There's no need for any washer. Now, here's the clever bit. Just tighten up the easy lock nut by hand and switch on. The special pitch on the thread ensures the nut tightens up automatically to the correct torque as soon as you start sharpening. No tools are required. If you want to change the stone, just grip the leather honing wheel, turn the grind wheel clockwise, you can see again the nut releases automatically. Just unscrew it and you're ready to change. Just take seconds, it really is that simple. The MSK250 fits the Tormek T7 and 2000 models and all the older machines with a 10 inch or 250mm diameter stone. If you have a T3 or a Tormek 1200 or an older model with an 8 inch or 200mm diameter stone, use the MSK200. So 
that's the first upgrade. Now let me show you the advanced water trough. This is it, the AWT 250 advanced water trough. It's a straightforward replacement for the standard trough. It's actually quite a bit different. For a start it has an enlarged outer lip which collects more of the water runoff helping to keep the bench drier when you're working across the full width of the stone. Secondly, there's a magnet moulded into the trough itself and this attracts all the steel particles being ground off the blade being sharpened. It keeps the stone cleaner and freer cutting. It stops those particles being pressed back into the stone surface. Look in here, you can see where they gather. Every so often you just have to wipe them off with a paper towel. It's only a small touch but it makes all the difference to the cleanliness of the stone. However, even with this larger lip you can still get messy runoff when you're sharpening long tools like shaft knives and plane blades. They tend to dribble all over the bench. To overcome this, just clip on the long chute and this directs any stray water back into the trough. Also included are a couple of magnetic tilt shoes which fit under the honing wheel side so the water now drips off the tool into the water trough or onto the chute. Again a really good feature when you're sharpening long tools. When you're not using them they store magnetically under the machine. It's so simple. The AWT 250 fits the T7, the Tormek 2000 and any of the older machines with a 250mm diameter stone. Now watch part 2 of this video where I take a closer look at those special stones.